Hello, hello, students. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Teacher. Yes. I, I feel so bad and I have the camera off. I okay. will be listening, teacher, for but I got... Uh, I got... I got the flu, you say. I got yes. the flu. Oh yes, my God. Yes. And Daisy, are you feeling better? No. <gasps> my goodness. You are getting worse. <gasps> People, we need to be very careful. We need to be very, very careful right now because many people are sick all over the country. So wear your mask. That's that could be a virus. It is indeed, <laughs> coronavirus number 20. We don't know with all the variants. <laughs> How do you say la venganza? La... <laughs> the revenge. <laughs> the revenge of COVID. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> yeah, de yeah. This is your time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You know, many people, for example, uh, they are going out on the streets and they are with people around and they don't wear a mask anymore and it doesn't matter if it is COVID or not but uh, the the fact of using the mask protects you from the viruses the dust and and all these things on the street so protect yourself wear a mask even if it is uncomfortable I mean try to do it right just el polvo el viento el COVID, COVID-29, no sé qué, no sé cuántas olas llevamos ya. But the mask protects you from that. I don't know you, but I mean, during all the time that I I'm have been wearing the mask, I don't get sick that much. And before I used to get sick a lot, but now it's like, it's it's less. And, and for example, if you have the mask and, and you feel that something is happening, it's like, meh. <laughs> and they don't see your mouth. <laughs> Al menos no, si se está durmiendo o si hace ahí la mala cara, no le ve. <laughs> because you are have the mask. They, do, they just see your Miss, eyes. Yes? Sometimes it's the crazy weather in our country. Definitely. Because right now, I don't know in your house, but here in my house, it's very hot. And later at night, it's cold. And in the morning, it's cold. So it's pretty crazy. Here we have this beautiful one. I, I agree. Yeah. So because, for example, in, in my residence, uh, we don't have a lot of trees. Ah. So in, in the morning, it's very hot, but uh, in the night, it's too cold because I don't know how to say el viento. The wind? Yes. Wind. The wind, uh huh. Yeah, the wind is very, it's very strong. Yeah, it happens. It happens the same, right? Because uh, some days ago, I, well, I work near Salvador del Mundo and it was really windy, but it was like, and then all of a sudden, nothing, normal. And I was like, what's going on with this weather? <laughs> so you need to How be... How do you write, write uh, viento? Wind, W I N D, wind. Wind of change. A wind of change, yeah, excellent. They, they say. You say wind, dust in the wind. So that's another example of wind. So I am very sorry that now <laughs> Daisy is sick, Katia is sick. Who else is sick? Quien más anda enfermo? Oh, Andrea is sick. Oh, my God. Okay, people, put the mask on. <laughs> yes, Vamos a poner mascarilla soon <laughs> because it's dangerous. So uh, it happens, right? It happens. So please drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of vitamins. Take a lot of vitamins. I mean, eat well. Don't eat junk food. That's going to help you a lot with your with your uh, defense, with your immune system. It's going to help you in general. Well, my dear class, welcome. Today is Wednesday, February 1st. January was like a whole year, but now it's February. So January was a difficult year, but we finished and we are on February 
the month of love. Ah, oh, we are going to play secret friend here. <laughs> Vamos a hacer un amigo secreto aquí en Zoom. Like in, in, in the school. Do you remember at school that that was the very common thing to play secret you are, friend? You are going to give us the, some points for the exam. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I was, I was uh, trying to, to remember many of the things that we used to do for Valentine's at school. What are some of the memories that you have from Valentine's at your school? Or what are the things that you used to do for Valentine's when you were younger? I had an experience, but not my experience. Uh -huh. If I experience uh, about my friends, two uh -huh. friends, because I remember I was in, in the high school. So uh -huh. in this moment, I I met a, a girl. So this girl, uh, she had uh, two boyfriends <laughs> at the same time. Oh, uh, that <laughs> the two boys. Uh, uh, were my friends, were my <laughs> my partners. <laughs> yes, you yeah, remember we we made the I don't know service social. The social <clears throat> service, social, the social service. service. So in the social service, uh, what's about? We have to take care about the the great, but the the less great and the grados menores. Ah, the lower grades, the lower grades or the uh, lower the, sections. The lower, yes, we, we had to take care of them. Okay, so I remember uh, the first boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy number one. Uh, yes, the, the the boy number one. His name is Christian. I remember. Uh, <laughs> Tell the name. <laughs> the name and the it, last name and everything. It, 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 it's very fun because I remember when we arrived to the high school, uh, he arrived with um, a bear, a little bear. Uh -huh. The bird. Because he, uh, she had to give them. No. Ah, a bird, yeah. a bear. Bear, uh, yes. Uh, bear. <laughs> so well, in, I said he in had the a second bear. boy, uh -huh. in the second boy, uh, he arrived uh, with a lot of fruits in, uh, I don't know, in, in the box, a uh -huh. little box, because he think it, uh, he thought, he, wa he, thought uh, he wanted to give, give her. So I saw the, the I don't know, I saw the, the show <laughs> because in the, in the afternoon when we have, when we have class, I remember the, the the first boy, my my friend Christian, he arrived with a with a with a uh, also okay with a with a bear uh -huh, with a bear uh, yes. with a bear to the classroom, but with the fruit in the box. Okay. <laughs> and another and another boy, he arrived to our class, but with a bird. Yo, what happened here? Because the girl just changed the gift. For them, so that the girl, uh, uh, I don't know, no gasto. <laughs> she didn't spend. <laughs> she she didn't spend anything anything because she she only uh, changed the gift of oh them. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, he, they they were partners. Yo, okay, <laughs> you are I don't know socios. <laughs> oh my god. Well, she was smart. <laughs> yes. She was, she, smart. she was smart by my friends. I don't know. They were dumb. They were, so, they were full. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's a cool story to start the class, right? They were dumb. You say dumb, it's like bobos que no se dan cuenta, right? They were dumb. So <laughs> thank you very much for enlightening us with this beautiful story. Christian, wherever you are, you were <laughs> cheated by the girl. Sorry. <laughs> so if Christian is watching us, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was with uh, like uh, amiga date cuenta. <laughs> amiga, please come on. I know. <laughs> These girls with two boys when they were young. Whoosh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, I need you to send me a message on the chat, which has been the best gift that you have received 
four, a secret friend or Valentine's and what has been the worst. So I am going to send the message here on the chat. You have to send it on the chat. What has been the best and the worst, right? I am going to send the best gift, right? The best and the words. Just the two words, the best and the worst. <laughs> Those are my best and my worst. Send your best and your worst. The best roses, they say. Uh, Alejandro, your camera has a problem with the update for Zoom. That was happening to me at the beginning. Uh, uh, teacher, the best for me and the worst for me. That's yeah, it. no, no, no. Yeah, that for you, for you. I got the best that I have received was a turtle, right? I got a turtle, an animal. <laughs> and I said, what's this? And it's still alive. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> so it, she's like, 20 years old now but she's still alive so it has been the best and the worst immense perfume because it was his mother who bought it and he only said that he needed a gift but he didn't say who was going to get it and she got a men's perfume and he just gave it to me and I was like cool I have a present for my father I <laughs> said Okay. Oh, I, don't, I understand. What yeah. Are you saying? Okay, uh, Alejandro. Yes. It, yes, I have. It's a, it's an update, and that's why your camera is doing this very crazy movement. It's okay. Don't worry. No. So, yeah, you can uh, update me uh, while you're using it. it, it how can I say it. that? Living. No, it is on. Okay, let me just help you a little bit. In the update, for example, if you go to the to your name on the top of Zoom on the main page, you have a the little name uh, of I mean your your user, and it says comprobar actualizaciones. So you have to click on comprobar actualizaciones, and then it is going to start updating. Okay. A cup, a cup with a candy, <laughs> chocolate and a cookie at the other end. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> well, <laughs> a cup with candies, a dolphin bracelet that was the best, and the worst soap. Yeah, Lo, los jaboncitos de cisne. The best of flowers, okay, flower arrangements, and the worst a dress. I don't like dresses. They say, <laughs> okay. <laughs> A music box. Oh, those things are beautiful. And hair clips. Yeah. <laughs> what What are they thinking when they give you hair clips? The perfume and uh, the other. Good. Uh, the best to play the guitar. And the worst, the light. <laughs> Come on, Eric. <laughs> okay. Did the person play the guitar for you or did you receive a guitar? No, I can play the guitar. Uh, okay. And the worst? Someone lied to you on, on Valentine's Yes, because I don't like the person who asks liars. Ah, no, no, no. But I was mean. I was asking for the best gift that you have received and the worst. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Received. Oh, yes. Also, I received a, a guitar for my birthday. Oh, okay. So that's a very cool gift. Yeah, and also, I received a lot of lies in my life. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that is not good. Progress, 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 progress. Thank you very much. So eh, that's good. Thank you very much for your answers on the chat. Thank you, my dear students. Well, we are going to go over a little bit on eh, what we're going to do in class today. Did you investigate the proverb that I assigned yesterday? Did you investigate your proverb? A proverb? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. So I, I asked you yesterday to investigate a proverb for us to use it today in class and I hope you have it because we are going to be using it in a couple of minutes, okay? So we are going to start today by discussing. We're going to, to discuss a little bit about wishes and then we're going to go over the proverbs. 
Okay, let me share my screen with all of you. Here I have a couple of questions, right? I have 10 different questions for you. And the questions say, which languages do you wish you understood? Right, that is the first one. If you wish you could understand a different language, that will be the first question. Which one will be? The second one, do you wish you own a pet fish? Yes, no, and why? A pet fish is a, the ones that you have in the little fish pool, right? How do you wish you felt more often? Do you wish you felt happier or, I don't know, less stress, concentrated? How do you wish you felt more often? Do you wish you live in a bigger house? And do you wish you spend more time studying English? Do you wish you had a car or a different car? How much money do you wish you had? Do you wish you exercise more often? What famous person do you wish you look like? And those nine are the ones that we're going to choose to use. I need you to get one of them. I need you to get one of these questions, one of these sentences, because you are going to use it for the discussion moment. Today, I didn't send you an audio because I was going to have this discussion moment in class. So that's why I need you to choose one of the nine sentences that I have here and uh, give a short answer. I need you to write down some ideas about it, okay? Not just answer them, okay? Write down the question and write down some ideas about it, okay? That's the first part of the exercise. Get the question and write some ideas to answer it, okay? Choose one question. Choose one, only one. Escojan una nada más. Creen sus ideas, hagan una, unos cuantos escritos acerca de sus ideas because you are going to use it, okay? We are going to work in trios giving the answers, okay? So right now I need you to choose one of them and try to give a complete answer, not just like yes or no, right? Try to give me details, okay? If you tell me, do you wish you live in a bigger house? Uh, yes, no, and why? You say, well, I wish I lived in a bigger house because the one that I have right now, it's too small and I would like to have more space because I like to do this and this. So give me details, not only yes and no, okay? Do you wish you had a car? Yes or no, and why? Well, here in El Salvador right now, it's not good to have a car. <laughs> it's like, nah, to be in the traffic all the time. How much money do you wish you have? I wish I had $3 million. Why, what for? Okay, so uh, give me details on your answer. I'm going to give you some minutes for you to do this. And in three minutes, I am going to send you to working groups. Let me see. I am just going to check out about the questions. Dennis, what question do you have? Number from number one to nine? Which one? Uh, I want to choose the question number. Let me see. Number number nine. Okay, number nine. Very good. Thank you. Erika Maidel. And, and number one. Number one, good. Boris? Number eight. Number eight. Elba? Number four. Uh, Jenny? One. Okay, Miguel Angel? What is your question? Miguelito? Number nine, teacher. Number nine, very good. Noemi? Number one, teacher. Number one, Anna? Can be the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The one that you want to answer. Don't worry. The number two. Number two, okay. It is Regina? Uh, number six. Very good. Nadia? Number two. Number two. Daisy, give me the number with your hand. Number 
Okay, I got it on the chat. Number seven, good, very good. Uh, Erevin? Number one, teacher. Number one, Vidal? Number one, teacher. Number one, Alejandro, which question are you going to answer? Number seven, maybe. Number teacher. seven? Okay, number seven, perfect. Dina? Number four. Number four, Andrea? Me too, number four. Okay, good. Katia, which answer, which question are you going to answer? Number four, teacher. Okay, Eric? Number one. Number one, Blanquita? Number eight. Number eight, Sara? Number seven. Uh, okay, very good, number seven, Maritza? Number seven, teacher. Number seven, Ricardo. Okay, Ricardo, what question are you going to answer? I can listen to you now. Okay, very good. Number one, Alicia. Number one. Very good. Francisco? Mr. Francisco, what question are you going to answer? Albita? Hello, Albita. Hello, hello. Okay, ajá, y a los cachalos que andan vagando. Ronald, which question are you going to answer? Mm, number seven. Number seven, Andrea Michelle. I think you gave me, you gave it to me already. No? Number one, teacher. Number one, and Juan Eduardo. Number seven. Teacher. Okay, Jessica. Number six. Number six, Mr. Escamilla. Which one? Teacher, Daisy say seven in the chat. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, <laughs> I have, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Daisy. Okay, so for all the ones who do not have their camera on, except for Katia, that is very sick, um, I need you to have it on because I am, in that way I can make sure that you are here and it is not me just connected talking to nothing. Okay, so please uh, thank you for all the ones who always keep it on and for us to be, uh, for all the ones that are always in class. Okay, Alejandro, you fixed the problem. That's very awesome. I changed my, my uh, device. Oh. So I, I, I'm using my cell phone as, as, the as, as ever. Okay, very good. As always. Yeah, as always, right? Maybe the cell phone is updated, but the computer is not. So we, can, we need to update the other one. Well, so okay. give me the answer, write the answer, sorry. And you are going to give it to me on the different groups. I'm going to send you to working groups. We're going to work in groups of three. And you are going to answer your question. You're going to read your question and give me the answer. Mm -hmm. And if I say, for example, do you wish you spend more time to study English? I will say like, yes, I would love to have more time to study because in that way I could practice more and I could do different things and I could, I could advance more on my knowledge. That could be a good answer, okay? So try to create it at least for a minute, at least for a minute, uh, exactly as what you do on uh, the recordings, okay? So we are going to go to the groups right now. And when we come back, we're, I am going to ask random people for an answer. So uh, try to practice, try to practice your answer in your group, okay? Practice your English, please. No Spanish in the groups. Let's go. Accept my invitation right now. There you go. You have it there. Okay.
Thank you. Accept my invitation. My no, sorry, teacher. I, I have no invitation, teacher. teacher. I don't have invitation. Okay, maybe you are getting it right now. Now, yes. Yes, now, yes. very good. Es que iba en bus. <laughs> no worry. There you go. You have it now. Go ahead. Se las mandé en costa. Thank you, thank you. You also, you also have the image on the chat. Thank you for uh, the ones who send it. Thank you very, very much. You have the image there. Okay, Alvita, Blanquita, and Francisco, did you receive my invitation to go to the groups? Hello. Thank you. Hello, hello. Thank you, Francisco. Did you did you get my invitation to go to the groups? Francisco. Okay, Francisco, Francisco, accept my invitation to go to the groups. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, so I am going to go and check how they are doing with their answers, and I will come back in a moment. Bueno, Alpita, Alpita. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Alvi is, 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 is sleeping. Oh. Teacher, your phone. <laughs> <laughs> y ese es el secreto de la vida eterna. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, was, I was talking with Alvita and I was saying like, Alvita, Alvita, where are you? And and maybe she, she's having issues there too to answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, here we're going to say Albita. We're going to send a message in the WhatsApp group. Maybe she's here. <laughs> okay, so what's your answer, Jenny? Tell me your answer. Okay. Uh, my my answer is I would like to be able to speak English and French. Oh that, yes, <laughs> because that would mm -hmm. allow me to communicate with people of the other nationalities when okay. I have the opportunity to travel. Nice. So English and French. Very good. Yeah. What about yeah. Sara? Tell me. I mean how much, is my pregunta? Is, uh, how much money do you wish you had? Mm -hmm. 
And in my case, I would like to have the now money to pay my debt, educate, educate my children, travel, among other things, or um, worrying about um, um, anything. To, uh, um, the best, uh, the most money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough, uh, enough money to cover your debts. I like that one, right? Enough money to cover your debts and to educate your kids. Alvita said that she's mm -hmm. working. That's why she's not answering, you see. She says mm -hmm. sleeping. Yes. <laughs> no, she's not <laughs> sleeping. She's working. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So you wish you had more money in, in order to cover all your debts, right? And to live without having to pay anything. That would be fantastic. <laughs> okay, you can, discuss, you can discuss the other questions meanwhile, okay? You can discuss the other ones. I will come back in a moment. And in that, uh, it means one of us. Sorry. Okay. The next? Um, the next is uh, uh, Francisco and Jessica. My uh, my my question is number six. Do you do you wish you had a car? Why or why not? Um, yes, I I because it is necessary to transport and to be able to go to work oh, and uh -huh. it's necessary. <laughs> For security, the person. <laughs> yeah. Today. Today it's necessary for oh, security. Say, definitely. Hoy en día. Nowadays. Yes. Nowadays. Because the bus is 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 dangerous. Uh, peligroso? It's dangerous. Uh huh. Dangerous. Uh, dangerous. Dangerous. Uh, the bus. Yes. In my case, um, I uh, I go, I go to work. Mm hmm. Um. With my, let's see, some chill bag. Backpack, uh -huh, with your backpack. And my laptop, and, and and with my backpack and my laptop. Yeah, and that that's the bad part because nowadays and maybe it's necessary. It it go to go to the car. Yeah, you need to you need to be careful. I mean, when when you have these valuable things, it is it is really necessary not to not to go by by bus yes well keep discussing i yes. will come back yes. in a second yes. i will come back keep discussing yes. six and six dogs i know <laughs> who has six what dogs? do you do with this six dog and <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah. You work for them. Need more money. <laughs> okay. How how many how many animals do you have? Uh huh. Yes. Sí. My goodness. Uh, I have six dogs and two cats. Six dogs and two cats. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Uh -huh. For this, I need. Uh, uh, understood. <laughs> yeah. I have one boxer. Me too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's snoring right here. Aquí está roncando la para mí. <laughs> I have my cat. Oh, what yeah, a beautiful like, uh, thing. Like, oh, my like God. Like Garfield, Garfield. What a beautiful animal. Anna, my God, he's so big. <laughs> Está más grande desde la última vez que lo había visto. Yes. Yeah, he's very big. He's very big. Yes. I love it. Vidal, do you have pets? No, I, um, I, I have one dog. Oh, one dog. Good. Very yeah. good. Yeah, I have this big little horse with me 
<laughs> she's she's like a little horse. What type of dogs do you have, Ronald? Excuse me. What what type of dogs do you have? I mean, are are they mixed? Do you have cateros? Ah, it's Doberman. It's the son is mestizo and it's the mixed. Okay. Aguacatero. <laughs> You know, sí. <laughs> yeah, that, son más fuertes, son más fuertes. They are indeed, and they live longer. They live longer, uh -huh. definitely. Sí. Yeah, sí. because the, the mixed dogs, <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> Salvadorian dogs, are very, very resistant. They don't get sí. sick. They don't They don't get anything. Not even flies. Not even <laughs> ni, ni las pulgas se les pegan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And they are they are very resistant, right? Good, very good. What a nice talk, the one that I came to listen. I will come back in a second, okay? Finish discussing your 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 talk. I will come back in a moment. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 Did, did you finish discussing? Yeah, I finished the chat. Yeah. What was your question? My question is uh, number one. And I say to my partner, what I like uh, to learn English and French. Okay. Because, because English is the universal language in French, because I would like to travel to French. To France, you would in like the, to travel to France. Uh huh. In the future. Nice. <laughs> so I would say, parle vous français. Ah, je parle français un peu. You say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am I bad like the, I like the sounds, the the, the, the pronunciation, right? That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go back and let's talk to all the groups about it. Okay, let's okay. go back. Okay, welcome back. I am going to bring everybody back. There you go. Okay. So I was listening in the other groups that they were talking about the different things they wanted to do, the different things they wanted to, to visit, the different places they wanted to travel to. So it was a pretty interesting section <laughs> for you to know your friends a little bit more. So there is someone who says, do you wish you have a pet fish? Yes, because I have six dogs and two cats and I don't know how many animals, but I don't have a fish. I was like, what? <laughs> so it, it was pretty interesting. It was a, a pretty interesting talk. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so I am going to listen. I'm going to listen to three volunteers only. The first three volunteers that raise their hand and share the answer will be the ones. I have Nadia. I have two more to share the answers. Go ahead, go ahead. I need <laughs> two more volunteers. Okay, Dennis, and I need one more. Hi, uh, hi. my question is on number two. I select the question two. Do you wish, do you all want a pet fish? In my case, I because the water is a very hot, and I wish um the, in the fish uh, jump uh, because the water is heats up and they and they die. Oh my god! What a Okay, <laughs> you need to be very careful with that. You need to be very careful with the pet fish. Yes. And also if you have a cat, uh, yeah, it might be like, oh, free food. <laughs> so Nadia, be careful with the water, okay? And if you get another one, be careful with the with the fish tank. Cover it, okay? Hágale una surrejita ahí para que no se salga. Okay, Nadia, yes, please. So. Good answer. Let's give a pet fish to Nadia. Be hey, the, careful with the pronunciation of owned. Which one? Because she said owed. She said owed. Oh. With the verb. 
<laughs> when she wanted to say owned. Owned, right? Owned. Do you wish you own a pet fish, right? Owned. Because own it, no, it doesn't finish in T or in D. It's not possible. Thank you, Erin, for the observation. That's pretty awesome that you can actually uh, grab and spot the mistake. That was good. Very good. Dennis, what is your answer? I don't remember the question, but uh, it was the number nine. Oh, uh, if you wish you could meet a, a famous person. Um, I I wish meet uh, the the famous uh, singer from from the band of Argentina, Gustavo uh, So the stereo, uh, because uh, he was a talented singer and uh, magnificent guitarist, and I really like his voice and I love his song. And okay. I I I I would like to to sing like like him. Like him, right? He was a very talented artist, right? He he was a very talented person. Very good. So you would like to sing with him and like him. Excellent. Mr. Eric and Noemi. I took the first question. <clears throat> so I would like to understand the language of English because for me it's important for my job because I would like to, to no, I have to communicate the information with, with another person around the world because I, I was making an internship in a company, an international company about customs. Uh -huh. So yeah, we move a containers around the world and you have to communicate different points and different instructions for your partners. So you have to speak English very well because you have to, to send emails and you have to, to make calls. And another, uh, the second is because my, my young sister, uh, she loves the English because she has, she likes to, to practice and, and see videos in YouTube about the English or uh, different videos in English. So uh, I would like to teach her. In, so I, I, I would like to, to learn English in order to teach her. No, and, okay, uh, right. Yes. And the last one, because uh, I, I don't know, I would like to travel around the world. Okay. And the English is the, 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 English is the, universal, the universal language to communicate and uh, for example i don't know imagine i i in the future i in the in french yeah i, I don't speak french so okay I don't know. <laughs> I'll go on. okay if you are in france right french is the language yeah, france, france is the phrase france. Okay, the pronunciation of a couple of words, instructions, right? Instructions, you have to follow instructions. Instruction. instruction. Containers, you don't say a containers because I is for singulars and containers is plural. Uh, you don't say a containers, you say containers only. A company, you don't say a company, it's a company. My younger sister, my younger sister. And about English, I would like to know everything about English. English okay. is the universal, universal language to communicate. And France, that it's a country. It, it's very common that we actually kind of confuse France and French. So, but that's that's a very good uh, way to do it. And it is funny when you say, I would like to, to learn English and I would like to understand. I would like to um, learn more about English, right? Because you can understand a, a lot of it so far so <laughs> let me see who was the last one i think it was noemi right go ahead uh, i uh, number one what language do you wish you understood i have always wanted to learn i have but now i am finding flavor i sing them with meeting <laughs> 
Okay, good. So that is a very good purpose right now that you can actually do it. Keep working on that and you will see you will perfection it more. Thank you, Noemi, for your answer. Very good job. Okay, Proverbs. I need your Proverbs. Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs. Yeah. Okay. Writing in the chat or reading? You can write it on the chat so we can keep it. We can keep a list of examples and later on you can explain it. Okay, if you can send it on the chat, that will be perfect. So we can keep them there and we can read them all. And then we can actually explain each of them. Dennis, do you have yours? A bird in hand is worth than two in the bush. Yes. Arriving. That's a, a good one. I like it. Okay. An apple a day keeps the an apple a day keeps the doctor away. What is the meaning of that? Uh, the meaning is if you don't have uh, June fall, uh, uh, you will you will be more more healthily. Okay, healthier. If you if uh -huh. you eat, if you eat uh, uh, more more apples than junk food, you will be. Okay, you will be healthier, right? You will be healthier. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It means that you have to eat more fruits and vegetables every day for you to stay healthy. Okay, Eravin, a bird in hand is worse than two in the bush. What is the meaning of that? I have one. That if you, okay. Okay, it go, means go. That, okay, sorry. It means that uh, you have to be sure of what you have right now than the projects that you have for the future because you can waste your time right now waiting for the things that you are going to have in the, that you will have in the future. But sometimes what you have right now is more important than what you want to have. Okay. In in good Spanish, what we have, what is the what is the 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 relative sentence for the Spanish version of this one? What will be the it equivalent? It's like uh, it's like uh, más vale pájaro en mano que que eh, dos volando algo así. <laughs> que dos ciento volando. Más vale Que uh -huh. volando. Very uh -huh. good job. Okay. Yes, Same that's way. that's the meaning, right? What you have right now, it's better than what you are dreaming about. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you, Erevin. Noemi, what is yours? Laughter is the best medicine. Uh -huh. Laughter is the best medicine. Thinking positive. Thinking positively and laughing will help you to feel better. Okay, laughing would make you feel better, definitely. Thank you very much. Jenny, it says, a bad workman always blames his tools. Okay. What is the meaning of that? It uses when someone blames the quality of their equipment or the other external facts when they perform a task poorly. Exactly like that. When they do something wrong, they say, no, the computer is not working. The printer <laughs> is not working. The teacher is not working. <laughs> so they blame the tools. Very good job. That's a good one. I didn't know that one. That's a very good one. Thank you very much. I learned something new today. I didn't know that one. Nadia, what is yours? Teacher, I sell it. Um, a cat has a night, a night life, uh -huh. but I, I don't understand all all the the verbs. Uh, I understand, but I don't know. I I I write. Uh -huh. If uh, a cat have a, a other opportunity uh -huh. when a, a um cat can survive and finally put a pen and the many times. Okay. But I don't understand. <laughs> when when you bring it to the human life, when you say like 
A cat has nine lives. It means that you are very lucky and you go through difficult accidents and you survive. And you see, you see, cats have nine lives. It's a phrase, right? They say, it's not that you are the cat, right? But uh, that you are lucky that you survive difficult situations. That's the meaning. Thank you very much, Nadia. Let's Thank see. <laughs> Let's see. We have another one here. It says, it's no good crying over the spilled milk. There is no point in complaining about something that has already happened. Ronald Antonio, why did you choose that one? Mr. Ronald. Se perdió Ronald. Hello, Ronald. Hello. Okay, babe. Okay. Tell, tell us about your 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 proverb. Ah, okay. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay, an apple doesn't fall far far from it... the tree. Sí. What's the meaning? The meaning is the children are Es como aquel que dice tal palo, tal así. Okay, children are the reflection of their parents, right? Children are no. the reflection of their parents. Uh -huh. okay. Alejandro, what is your proverb? My proverb is... Uh... I don't know. Wait, is uh, a strike while the iron is hot. Okay, I so I said I read it on WhatsApp. Okay, huh? What's S the meaning? Strike while the iron. Uh, this probably means that you should take advantage of a favorable, favorable, yes, favorable situation before it change. So you have to aprovechar. To take advantage of the yes, the opportunities that you have in front of you. Okay. In front of you. When the situation appears, That's you have to, you have to take advantage of it. Very good proverb, right? Strike yes. while the iron is hot. Yes. Great. I didn't know that one exactly. either. Now I know one. Anita, what is yours? Uh, I shall speak louder than words actions speak louder than words what's the meaning uh, what you do is more important than what you say exactly what you do is the more important that you do is more important than, than all that you can say excellent you can say no I am good at this at that and everything but if you don't actually show it it does, it's not worth. Okay, very good. And I have Juan Eduardo. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yes, I, I, um, what we see is not correct. Mm -hmm. For example, a person with tattoos. Uh -huh. uh, in my country, it's a person bad. But, but Where do you live? really is a person good, a good person. It, it, it might be a good person. Juan Eduardo, where do you live? Uh, I am live in Apopa. Ah, in my city, you say, in my <laughs> city. I said, my God, I have international students. I said. <laughs> yes, I, I heard that too in my, in my, in my country. Yeah. No, in my city, yeah. Well, here in El Salvador, it is, yes. it is, it's difficult, right? Because we are entering to this culture that it's different now that you have to learn to like differentiate the type of <laughs> artistics <laughs> yeah <laughs> artistic uh, paintings on your body and <laughs> not so, really artistic sorry sorry miss who is it? who is from another country no 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 <laughs> from a different city juan eduardo lives here don't worry excuse me yeah it's from from a different city right but yeah, but each city is a different world, so we never know. <laughs> Thank you, Juan Eduardo. Yeah, don't judge a book by its cover, right? So as you can see there, it's not a bad person just because he or she has tattoos. Good. And I will go <laughs> with the last one. Necessity is the mother of invention. 
Eric Ernesto. Yes. Tell yes. us about it. My proverb is necessity is the mother of the invention. And what is the meaning? Because, yeah, la madre, la madre, la necesidad es la, es la madre de la invención. Exactly, oh. yeah. But well, how, I, do you, how do you refer it? Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, maybe it's very, very important this problem because when you have a problem, uh, you don't have only the problem, you have opportunity to, to make something. Okay, you have an opportunity to make something different, right? Because, I mean, there, there was necessity. Imagine when we started with the pandemic, I mean, they had the necessity to continue teaching. And so they, they went through the virtual classes and it was like, oh, we need to do something, right? And necessity was in that moment, the mother of the yeah, sorry. How, Teacher, how, do you, uh, how do you say emprendimiento? Entrepreneurship. 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 Yes. Entrepreneurship. Please, can you write it, Chad, this, this I, word? I will send it to you right now. Uh, I was I was asking you because in the pandemic, in the time of pandemic, the critic, the critic time, I I met a a teacher uh -huh. uh, from uni uh, from Unicaes. Uh, I don't know if you know. Oh, yeah, I worked you there know? for five years. <laughs> Sophie Sophie Bay is, is my friend. Uh huh. She's a teacher. So I remember she lost uh, his job. Her job. So she, in, in, ah, her job. Ella emprendió, she entered. Okay, she. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> this. Okay, she started. No, no, emprendió. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. So she started her entrepreneurship ment. It's a long word. No, or yes, you can yes, say, yes, yes. let's <laughs> maybe in the next level. I will, <laughs> I will make it. I will make it easier for you. She started her own business. She started her own business. That it's to. I mean, it's an entrepreneur who starts the entrepreneurship meant, but it's easier. She started her own business. Uh huh. So that's that's ah, something. It's very uh, own business. Yes. So, so she, my... uh -huh. <laughs> there okay. is no okay. words. <laughs> I am I doing that. To... Uh -huh. Okay, I, I, I will. Share my my proverb. Uh, this was was brought was brought by Geoffrey Chaucer in 1386. Uh -huh. He's an English poet. It's better late than never. Better uh, late than never. It means it's better to arrive somewhere later. Yeah, better later than never. Than never uh, arriving. Uh, than planet, uh, rather. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Boris. And it's true. It's better to arrive late than never arriving to the place. I will go through the attendance in a very quick way. My dear students, Alba Colombina. She's working. She told me. Alejandro Jose. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ana. Present Andrea. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present. Blanca Marisol. Present teacher. Boris Martin. Your teacher. Brian Isaac. Present. De Denis Isaías. Daisy Carolina. <laughs> present, say. Thank you. Thank you. She says present on the chat. Dina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Present. Erika Maidel. Present. Francisco Alberto. <clears throat> Thank you. He said uh, present. Iris Regina. No manejando. Iris He's Regina. Here, Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Okay. Jessica Janet. Present. Ervin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Thank you, Katia. Maritza. 
Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Thank you. Noemi. Present teacher. Ricardo. Present teacher. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Well, keep it there for the ones who couldn't uh, share the proverb today. Keep it for tomorrow. We are going to do that. We are going to check unit four tomorrow as well uh, on the platform that you have it done. I know many of you have already finished the platform, so that is not a problem. So my dear class, I am going to see you tomorrow. We're going to study a little bit about signs and signals, the traffic signs and the meanings, okay? So I am going to send you a couple of images for you to study tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow for your next class. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.